Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the zeros of polynomial function. By the way guys, when I say zeros of polynomial function, this serves as the value of the variable, the solution, or the roots in a given polynomial function. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So let's have the first example. In our first example, we will try to use the rational zero theorem to help us in identifying the roots or the zeros of this given function. By the way, guys, when was, uh, by the way, guys, the degree of the polynomial function will determine or will give you the hint on how many solutions or roots do we have in a given function. Example, here we have x cubed. As you can see, the the degree is three, meaning meron tayong tatlong roots or zeros. So, yung pagkuha ng ating rational zero theorem, kailangan natin kunin yung quotient ng P over Q. We're in, um, yung P natin, kunin natin yung factors ng ating negative 20 ng ating constant. So, yung factors niyan are positive negative 1, positive negative 2, positive negative 4, positive negative 5, positive negative 10, and positive negative 20. Samantalang yung Q naman natin is the coefficient of the leading term. So since ito yung 1, that is simply positive negative 1. Meaning, if we will get the quotient of these possible factors of the constant and the leading coefficient, it will lead us to positive negative 1, positive negative 2, positive negative 3, ah, uh, 4, rather, positive negative 5, positive negative 10, and positive negative 20. So, anong purpose itong mga numbers ito? Ito yung mga tasubukan natin if makuha ba natin siya bilang 0 by evaluating this one. So, pa sir, paano yun? First, get your function, f of x is equal to x cubed, plus 8 x squared plus 11 x minus 20. So as you can see, meron tayong positive negative 1. Ang una na nasusubukan dito is yung positive 1. Kasi pag meron na tayong nakuha, nakuha dito at naging 0 yung value nito, automatic, that one is the root of the polynomial function. So let me try positive 1. So it will become f of positive 1. What you need to do is to input or substitute this 1 to the variable x and that is 1 cubed plus 8 times 1 square. I'm just substituting the value of 1 or the value of x plus 11 times 1 minus 20. And simplifying this, your f of 1 is 1 cubed is 1. 1 square is 1 times 8, that is 8, plus 11 times 1, that is 11, minus 20. This is 1 plus 8, that is 9, plus 11, that is 20, minus 20, meaning your f of 1 is equal to 0. Since this is 0, sure na tayo that one of the values or one of the zeros is equal to 1. Ibig sabihin niyan, we have this. We have x is equal to 1. Now, after this, since nagamit natin yung rational zero theorem to get the first factor and evaluated it in a given function, it became 0. Gagamitin naman natin yung knowledge natin about the synthetic division para makuha agad natin yung other zeros. So, try natin, eh. Ito yung 1. Gawin mo dito, lagay mo dito 1. Okay. The coefficients of this is R1, 8, 11, and negative 20. Again, synthetic division. Bring down 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Add them, 
8 plus 1 is 9. So what we have here is 9 times 1, that is 9. And 11 plus 9 is 20. 20 times 1 is equal to 20. So as you can see, when we add this to the number, the answer is 0. So ang gagawin lang natin dito guys, Proven siya guys ha. Since 0 to automatic talaga. This one is one of the zeros. Ngayon, ang gagawin natin sa mga nakuha natin dito, na 1, 9, and 20, we will make it a, a function. So ito, yung 1 natin, it will become x square. The reason why is that, kapag na synthetic division tayo, para maging expression to or equation to, kailangan mo lang mag-subtract ng 1 sa degree. Okay? So 3 minus 1 is 2. So, that is x squared. So, quadratic na lang siya. This is plus 9x. This is your constant 20. So, ito na ngayon yung magiging equation natin. So, as you can see guys, kung mananotice nyo, this equation is quadratic. Okay? Let me move this a little bit. This one is quadratic. We're in, we can factor out this quadratic equation and it will become x plus 4 times x plus 5 is equal to 0. Saan natin nakuha yung 4 saka 5? Factors of 20. And the sum is 9. So, ang gagawin nyo lang dito, i-move natin ng konti guys. Eh. It will become x plus 4 is equal to 0. Inequate natin yung both factors by 0. Then, x plus 5 is equal to 0. So, for x, transpose mo na lang to. x is equal to negative 4. Then, Transpose mo to, x is equal to negative 5. So, ano ibig sabihin nito guys? Since we've got negative 4 and negative 5, meaning, yung kasamang zeros or yung kasamang solution ni x is equal to 1, ang mga values pa nito ay negative 4 and negative 5. Diba sabi ko nga sa inyo kanina, earlier, since yung ating degree is 3, automatic, we have three different roots or zeros. The zeros are 1, negative 4 and negative 5. So, I hope guys, nakuha niyo yung method na ginagawa natin on how to get the zeros of a polynomial function. Now, let's move on here and find the zeros of this function. What we have here is p of x is equal to x squared minus x minus 12. So here, what we need to do is to make this 0. We have 0 is equal to x squared minus x minus 12. And kaya ginawa ko siyang ganyan dahil isa na siyang quadratic. And napansin ko that we can easily factor out this equation. What are the factors of negative 12? So negative 12 that could give us negative 1 kasi negative 1 to. The factors are negative 3 times 4 or pwede rin namang 3 times negative 4. Among the two, which will give you the answer of negative 1? Ito yung sagot natin because this one is equal to negative 1. Meaning, the factors of this are ito, x plus 3 x minus 4. And equate each factor by 0, that is x plus 3 is equal to 0, and the other is x minus 4 is equal to 0. Transpose this to the other side, that is x is equal to negative 3. And transpose this to the other side, x is equal to positive 4. What is the meaning of this? Since we calculated x is equal to negative 3, x is equal to 4, meaning to say, these are the zeros of the given polynomial function. So we have 1, 2 zeros, and the degree is 2. So I hope, guys, that you learned something from this video on how to calculate or how to find the zeros of any rational function. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. 
Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!